These amazing summer rolls from Vietnam are a combination of crunchy raw vegetables, soft aromatic leaves and cool squeezy noodles all stuffed tightly into a feather-like rice paper. It's like a salad packed into an eatable container. So in my starter's kitchen meal kit, you will find both rice paper, glass vermicelli, dipping sauce and deep fried shallots. Okay, let's start from cooking the vermicelli. I've got the water boiling. You need to cook for a good two minutes. So I've got prawn cutlets. Um, if you're using a frozen one, please make sure that you defrost first. Tail on, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna remove the tails later. So water is boiling. I'm gonna cook for two minutes. Let's prepare the fresh ingredients. First one is carrots. I'm gonna just do a julienne cut. Of course you can use a knife, but if you have one of these gadgets, the julienne peeler, go for it. And coriander, fresh coriander. Fresh smells, I love the smell of coriander. And then last one is the fancy lettuce. Okay, prawns and vermicelli are cooked, so I just need to drain them. You want it to um, rinse under cold water. They're all translucent, which means that it's fully cooked. And prawns, drain. Nice pink colour, fully cooked. So just be careful not to overcook the prawns, otherwise they can get stringy. We need to remove this tail, and of course you can use a knife, and a lot of people will chop the tail right here, which is no, no. You still got the meat right there. So you're gonna use the thumb, press that very end, and then you're just gonna pull. So you have all of the meat from the very end tail. You're not gonna waste any meat. If you don't like eating prawns, then you can simply substitute with the poached chicken or poached pork. Or for those people who are vegetarian, or meet those prawns and chicken pork, you can simply use the beautiful crunchy vegetables as well. Okay, the only thing that we need to do is slicing the prawn into half. So what I'm going to do, just watch your hand, put the hands lightly on top. There you go. I'm going to use these two pieces for one roll of spring roll. Now what I need is a large bowl with a hot water, about 45 degree temperature. One sheet of the rice paper, dip in, whole sheet goes into the hot water and lift it up. You're aiming to have folding from the middle when you hold it. See that? It's ready. A lot of people make a mistake on the dipping the rice paper into hot water too long and it becomes very soggy. Two pieces of prawns, vermicelli, lettuce, carrots and coriander. If you like crunchy, then go ahead, put the better of the deep fried shallots. Okay, let's roll. From the bottom, pick the sheet up, goes up and over, cover all of the ingredients. And you're gonna roll from the side. Side in, the other side in as well. Now, neat and tightly roll up. There you go. Yes, I've done the 20 rolls. Let's plate up. On a plate, I just wanted to make it nice and beautiful. So I might just wanted to use some of the lettuce left over. Or if you have a micro herbs, that would be looks even better. Okay, now I just need a dipping sauce. I just need about a tablespoon of water. This is great for refreshing snack or a light lunch. And if you have a leftover of these deep fried shallots, go for it. Sprinkle on the top. Tala, Satch's Kitchen Milk, it's summer roll. Enjoy with your friends and family.